We're recording. Hello, I'm Paul Vanuk from Recording Magazine. Welcome to our latest video review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Rocket Generation 5 Studio Monitors from KRK Systems, which I also review in the June 2024 issue of Recording Magazine. While identical in appearance to the previous Generation 4 lineup, the new Rocket Generation 5 Studio Monitors from KRK offer some stellar upgrades to the internal DSP and the components of this famous, long-standing, yellow-coned speaker family. The Rocket line was born in 2005 with the original 5-inch Rocket 5 and 8-inch Rocket 8. Both models included the signature KRK yellow coned woofers, which in the Rocket line was made of a glass aramid composition rather than the Kevlar weave of the upper end KRK models. They also featured a 1 inch soft dome tweeter. The Rocket powered Generation 2 followed in 2008 with the release of the RP5 G2 and RP8 G2, and they were joined by an additional 6 inch RP6 G2. These featured new molded cabinets, rounded baffles, and revoiced woofers. I reviewed the second generation RP5 G2 in our August 2008 issue. The line was eventually joined by the three way RP10 III reviewed in February 2012. Next up were the rocket powered G3 models, which came along in 2013. These featured even more streamlined contours and a redesigned base port. I reviewed the RP5 G3 in our October 2013 issue. This was followed by Alex Hawley's review of the Rocket 10.3 G3 in August 2016. 2019 ushered in what we can consider the modern Rocket era with the release of the Rocket 5 G4, the Rocket 7 G4, the Rocket 8 G4, and the Rocket 10.3 G4 models. In addition to a classic rectangular cabinet design, each model saw the return of yellow Kevlar in both the low frequency drivers and the speaker's 1-inch tweeters. The fourth generation models also added digital control for the onboard DSP-based EQ and level controls versus the analog knobs and switches of the previous models. I reviewed the Rocket 5 G4 alongside the second generation and third generation models five years ago in our June 2019 issue. I then reviewed the Rocket 8 G4 in March of 2020, and David Blasco reviewed the stunning Rocket 7 G4 white noise model in March of 2021. Now we come to the fifth generation of Rocket monitors. Unlike past evolutions, the new Rocket Generation 5 monitors are housed in the exact same enclosure as the Generation 4, with a choice of 5-inch, 7-inch, and 8-inch models. For review, I was sent the Rocket 5 and Rocket 8 Generation 5 models. Beyond their size and sound, the construction, the design, the controls, and the accoutrements are exactly the same for all three models. The low resonant speaker enclosure is made of coated MDF, while the front baffle is made of textured molded plastic. At the bottom of the cabinet is a sizable, low reaching, front firing base port. In addition to each model's yellow Kevlar Aramid woofer is a newly designed 1-inch acoustic silk dome tweeter. The bottom of each cabinet features a thick, high-density acoustic isofoam pad designed to help with decoupling and isolation. The bottom also features integrated mounting points for use with optional KRK mounting brackets. Each speaker ships with an additional angled foam pad for even more isolation and a proper angle. You also, of course, get a power cable and a choice of magnetic faceplates, one with protective grills and one without. They snap on and off with a bit of effort and are a great way to keep your tweeters and speakers finger free. Each model in the line employs bi amped Class D amplification with the following specs Connections on the back include a balanced XLR TRS combo input the power socket, a power switch, and a refreshed LCD screen with a stepped 
push-button rotary encoder. The Rocket Generation 5 models contain 25 preset graphic EQ options to aid in room correction and tuning the monitors to taste. You can also generously boost or attenuate the monitor level to your needs. New on the Generation 5 models is a selection of three voice modes, Mix, Focus, and Create. Mix mode is the flat setting for the speaker, while Focus, as its name suggests, lets you focus on the 1 kHz range. Typically, this is where the critical details like the vocals and the guitar live. Finally, the Create voicing boosts 60 Hz and 10 to 20 kHz while pulling down a bit of the 1 kHz mid-range. Think of this as your real-world impress the client setting, or simply just for kicking back and listening to music. Each speaker also offers a standby option, as well as brightness adjustments for both the front side KRK logo and the rear LCD screen. You also get control lock and a factory reset. Whether you happen to be a KRK user or not, I do recommend that you download the recently updated and completely free KRK Audio Tools app for both iOS and Android. The first five audio tools include monitor alignment, a spectrum RTA, a level meter, delay, and polarity. More importantly, they work with any brand of studio monitors. The sixth process, however, is KRK specific. Using a TRS Y cable and device specific adapters, the app performs a pink noise listening test and suggests the proper DSP settings for the speaker. To check out both models, I set them up in my home listening space slash office and my professionally treated mix room. My first impression of the Rocket 8 Generation 5 was how even and focused the mid-range was. The bass is still big and punchy, but it is noticeably a little less hyped than previous Rocket models. I also noticed that the top end was much more detailed than I remembered from the previous Rocket 8 G4 presumably due to the new tweeters. Simply put, I found the Rocket 8 Generation 5 models to offer a very full, even, forward studio monitor sound, and nothing comes across as overcooked or hyped. While KRK have made it really easy to adjust the voice modes on the rear of each speaker, you do have to get up and adjust the modes on the rear of each speaker. It could have been handy if KRK could have figured out some sort of pedal-based system kind of like they have on their subwoofers, so you could sit in the sweet spot and cycle through each voice mode. Speaking of the voice modes, I liked the extended low and high sweetening of the Create voice, which adds a lovely, almost old-school rocket bloom. On the flip side, I was already so impressed with the mid-range representation of the Rocket 8 Generation 5 models, I'm not sure how often that I would reach for focus mode, but that comes down more to taste and my personal workflow. Moving on to the smallest member of the family, I've long been a fan of the tight, punchy presentation that the Rocket 5 models bring to a mix, and the Rocket 5 Generation 5 instantly exudes the small but mighty, familiar Rocket sound. The low end is full with a super tight forward kicking punch, and its low thrust is impressive for its size. Compared to its larger sibling, the mid range is a touch more compact, but it's still even and revealing, and the high end, like the 8-inch model, is nicely detailed with zero bite or stridency. Normally, when I do a video-based speaker review, I'm not sure how much value there is in letting you hear the sound of the speakers in my room. It just seems a bit odd to capture that sound with a microphone, and then you listen back through the streaming codec and whatever speakers or headphones you choose to listen on. However, I do think in this instance, there is value in giving you a taste of the three different voicing modes. Hopefully you enjoyed that taste of what each voicing mode has to offer. On the 5 inch models, in my home office, I preferred the create mode when listening late at night at lower levels as it presents a bit of a classic loudness curve. Interestingly, I found that in focus mode, 
the Rocket 5 let through a little bit more low end, like there's a just a touch more bass than focus mode on the Rocket 8 Generation 5. And due to the Rocket 5 lacking in some of its larger siblings' mid-range presentation, I actually found focus mode a bit more useful on the 5-inch versus the 8-inch model. In mixing and listening, both models were consistent and comfortable from 60 dB up to 85 dB. And while they can crank well up into the upper 90s, which was nicely surprising for the Rocket 5 model, you can hear them start to work hard and push a bit at louder levels. The last thing I want to talk about is how the new Generation 5 models compare to the Generation 4 models. To find out, KRK was nice enough to send me a set of the Rocket 5 Generation 4s so I could compare them side by side with the Rocket 5 Generation 5s. Despite nearly identical specs, the Rocket 5 Generation 4 low end is a little more bulbous and its highs and upper mids are a touch smoother. By comparison, the Generation 5 is a bit more open and revealing with a bit more of a controlled low end. The new tweeters really open up the sound of the latest model, providing a noticeable improvement in clarity. The new Rocket Generation 5 offerings represent a seriously useful studio monitor that is seriously affordable. I actually find them to be the modern day equivalent to the old classic NS10. Now, go with me for a second, because I'm not saying that they sound anything alike. However, it's more in the fact that KRK rocket models of all generations and sizes have been found in studios big and small consistently for almost 20 years and counting. This makes the rockets a very familiar sound. As such, the new KRK Rocket Generation 5 options can be a wonderful reference tool in any studio, on their own, or in tandem with other, even more expensive monitors. I'm also guessing that it's not going to take very long for somebody to put together an affordable Rocket Generation 5 Atmos rig, along with one of the company's popular subwoofers. If you'd like to learn more about the KRK Rocket Generation 5 monitors, or any other KRK product, check out krkmusic.com. Also, be sure to read my review of the KRK Rocket Generation 5, 5 inch, and 8 inch models in the June 2024 issue of Recording Magazine. If you liked this video review, be sure to give us the thumbs up below and subscribe to Recording's YouTube page for further video reviews, product comparisons, how to videos, and more. Then stop by recordingmag.com for the best in all things recording, where you can subscribe to our print publication, which is now in its 37th year. We'll see you soon.